recently spent a week of my life in a place that dreams are made of. Nearly two million acres of virtually untouched wilderness, accessible only by float plane and possibly the best fly fishing on earth. This is the Spat CZ. I first heard of this place when Jake, managing host and wilderness guide at the Spatsizi Wilderness Lodge, reached out and asked if I would be interested in joining them for a week. He told me that we would be accessing world-class fishing from float planes and to expect, well, I can't remember what else he said. He had me at float planes. Before I knew it, I was meeting up with a good friend of mine, Levi Allen, at the seaplane base where we were boarding a chartered Cessna caravan and headed for the wilderness. Spatsizi Wilderness Lodge is based on Las Louis Lake, inside the Spatsizi Plateau Wilderness Park in northern British Columbia. It's twice the size of Yellowstone National Park and solely accessible via float plane. It's so far north that their fishing season fits in a mere eight week long window between melt off and first snow of the following winter. The Spatsizi is home to the sacred headwaters for the Stikine, Skeena, and Firesteel rivers, which boasts some of the densest rainbow trout population per mile on the planet. It's no exaggeration to say that this could be the best dry fly fishing in the world. In addition to rainbow trout, they also have a healthy population of arctic grayling, lake trout, and freshwater whitefish. But lurking down in the deeper pools of the river, there is one other large and extremely predatory species of fish that can be found in these waters. Dude, I'm literally smashing dinks right now. What the fuck was that? It, it just took my fish. I'm not joking. Like there is a big ass fish that just took my little fish. Did you see that thing right here? It just took the fish. You see it? That's a bull trout. Bull trout. It's one of the most aggressive freshwater fish in North America, yet one of the most difficult to find. It's because they require a pristine habitat with exacting demands of water temperatures, clean gravel beds, deep pools, and large systems of interconnected waterways to accommodate their spawning migrations. This is the first time I've ever been in bull trout country, let alone have the good fortune to run into them. Feels big, feels decent. What do you got on the line? I think a bull trout. <laughs> a new goal was just set to land a 10 plus pound bull trout, just like the ones I'd heard stories of in my newfound obsession with chasing bulls. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh. Yeah, they're here. I need a hand. Someone, I got big fish. Not nearly a big enough rod for these things. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, dude. I've caught a. Yeah. Maybe that was an illusion or this thing's a monster? No, I think it's a monster. Oh. Like, your net is not nearly big enough. I, I don't know how we're going to. need a bigger net. Jake, you got to see this. Woo! Oh my gosh. That is a freaking beast of a fish. Oh, okay, here we go. It was the one. Yes. Oh my God. That's way too small. Jake, hurry. No. Here, have Jake take that net and maybe. There's no bull trout down here. I got a beer and it <laughs> fell down my pants. I can't help you right now. I'm going to get this beer out of my pants. Holy smokes, dude. Uh, what? 
the hell have you caught? <laughs> dude, right? Oh <laughs> my <laughs> lord, dude. Oh. It's rolling. Oh, oh no! Dude, no. that still was sick. You oh, saw it. Everyone saw it. I we had it in it. the net. I held it. I'm sorry. Dude. Ugh. That was crazy. That like almost broke my rod. That was over a 15 pound ultra. Whoa, oh, that's your dog. That just scared the shit out of me. What? <laughs> Beautiful fish. Yeah. Way to go, dude. Nice. <laughs> and then you can go. He's gone. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> That's a good first fish. That was delightful. That was rad. Now I will admit, I didn't do the best job covering the story of my week in the Spats Easy. To be honest, I was just too excited to be up there fishing in such amazing waters. I did, however, have an adventure of a lifetime, creating good memories with a great group of people, flying in awesome airplanes, catching incredible fish, and eating some amazing food. Well, it looks like our time here at Spatsizi has finally come to an end. But man, what a good time, huh? We just lived a lifetime across the past eight days. It's been wild. It truly <laughs> has been the trip of a lifetime. I can't say enough good stuff about not only this area, but the guys that run it, the core four that were here, Jake, Brian, Tanner, and like absolutely Jesse the one holding the fort down and cooking and just keeping everything running. Those guys are awesome. Thank you guys. And to anyone that is interested in coming here, uh, I could not do anything to talk you out of it. It's incredible. <laughs> the wait list is just now like three years, two years <laughs> long, so good luck. I uh, know, it hurts a little <laughs> knowing that uh, it's gonna be hard for us to come back here because mm -hmm. uh, it's probably gonna be pretty busy, but um, it's a very cool place. Mm -hmm. so. But before I sign off, I do want to take a second to say a huge shout out and thank you to my friends over at Squarespace. And for those that don't know, Squarespace is the ultimate platform to build a website and run your business. You start with one of their award-winning templates, change it and craft it into your own beautiful looking professional working website that is optimized for both desktop as well as mobile. And they have features for literally every industry, so it doesn't really matter what you're trying to do with your website, be it an online store, personal blog, professional photo gallery, book your clients, anything, you can do it with Squarespace. So if you haven't yet, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to purchase, make sure you use code Trent Palmer at checkout. That'll get you 10% off. Oh, at this point, you guys know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Come be my wingman. We'll see hey, you wait, the next wait, 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 wait. I will say, a bunch of you came and stopped by a video that I made about Trent. Yeah. And you're the nicest people. You've got the coolest crew going on on your channel, the community you're building. Yes. It's amazing. I don't tell you guys that enough. You guys are awesome. Thank you. And also, go check out Levi. He just spent two days, two nights out camping in the remote Spotsizi wilderness, bringing zero food. Like, literally had to catch to eat, and uh, he made it. So it's going to be a cool cool video. Make sure to go check him out. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.